Uh, and thank you for your words. <coughs> uh, that was really well said. Uh, we don't need it. It's the it. wrong project for the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, it's offensive that we're standing on Article 97 conservation land that was part of the mitigation for the cleanup from the Edison plant. Um, so it's just doubly insulting every step of the way. I guess I would just like to add my thanks to the MTA. Um, we saw how tremendously effective you've been recently on the education reform bill, stopping the charter schools and privatization, and so it is absolutely fantastic. And really, at this moment, to have such a strong, powerful, wonderful partner in civil protest to come forward. Uh, most people don't realize, uh, as the senator referred to, before we were even elected, this project um, was, was initiated, and that was how I learned about it, was campaigning. It was Margaret Bellafiore uh, came to me. She's such a wonderful warrior, uh, environmental justice warrior, and she, she said, Joan, you have to understand, and she really sat down and explained it to me, and it has been an honor and a privilege to work with FRAX and the communities themselves. Uh, it's probably the single most effective um, organization that I, grassroots organization that I have ever worked with. It has been, what, four and a half years now, five years. You people are amazing. Uh, but it is exhausting, and there have been barriers, as the Senator said, and it's been, it's been a long haul, and you have just stayed the course. You are incredibly resilient, um, but it is really wonderful to have the MTA at this moment step forward in civil protest, and what a wonderful uh, message to send to our young people our young children and our students in their schools to see their teachers step forward, to stand up for what they believe, to use their voice in true de democracy um, at this time is particularly poignant. So I just wanted to say my hats off to all of you. Um, really, every day, uh, the towns of Braintree and Weymouth and Quincy and f the people who come together for FRAX, you absolutely inspire me, and I'm here with my colleague in the Senate and my colleagues in the House, every step of the way, you can count on your neighbors to be here, whatever we need to do. Uh, I'll leave it at that for the moment and turn it over to our other colleague, our wonderful neighbor uh, from Braintree, Senator Walter Timmelton.